everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I have some brand new WWE Elite Figure Customs for you guys, as well as a new pickup from one of my loyal subscribers. We'll get to that in a second, but let's go ahead and get into these guys. One of them you've already seen, well two of them you've kind of already seen, but these two are the newest ones, and this one's my favorite. I freaking love this trash right here. I call it trash for no reason, but this is my training or working out or just, you know, uh, I guess street gear slash backstage gear Finn Balor figure, and what I have done, guys, you will see it's even got you know just the gym shorts the high socks the training shoes just regular you know tennis shoes on there or athletic shoes whatever you want to call them i don't call them tennis shoes i just sounded like a jackass right there who calls them tennis shoes but anyways getting into this guys what i did was you guys know that i bought a second milko mania kurt angle figure and that is what this figure is from the crotch down except for the shoes uh those shoes are actually on a john cena elite you know you guys know that we did the fix up on action figure surgery so what i did was put the elite 64 or elite 54 i think no it's a 64 at least I, I can't remember i think it's 64 the Elite 64 Jimmy Uso shoes, I put those on there to give the white-on-white -white look. Um, these would probably look better with the Milko Mania shoes, but since I used those for a John Cena, I'm going to keep the white ones on here for now. But uh, what I did was torso crack that Kurt Angle, then I torso cracked one of my extra Finn Balors, my top talents Finn Balors, put the torso arms and um, uh, head scan on there, and bam, there you have You have a shirtless working out Finn Balor. You guys saw in the thumbnail, um, I recreated this image yesterday, or two days ago, I can't remember, and... And um, I got really a lot of great feedback on Instagram. Instagram seems to like those kinds of pictures where you recreate it. And as soon as I saw the Milko Mania uh, Kurt Angle Elite come out, or um, I think it, I think that came out after that photo, I said, you know what, I'm going to remake this Finn Balor picture. I'm going to remake this figure, and that is what I've done here. You guys can see there. And I used the Bobby Lashley accessories. Here's the tire that I used for that image, and then here is the sledgehammer I used for that image. And I just used my photo editing skills to uh, render that thing up. And bam, while Bush it looked pretty good. I enjoyed it. It was fun to make. It looked great. And um, I'm still trying to get Finn Balor to see it and like it. He hasn't just yet as of the time I'm recording this. So if you guys can, go to my Instagram page, tag Finn Balor on that photo, and let's get Finn Balor to like that freaking photo, man. That's that's what I'm trying to do. He's liked a couple of my customs before, but um, that is something I want to do. Love Finn Balor. He recently just had his birthday. We mentioned that yesterday in yesterday's video. But uh, I really like this Finn Balor, man. I think if I put on one of his t-shirts or something, um, I think it'd be a really cool thing you know we can't use it in the pick fed because Finn Balor is no longer in the pick fed but you know it would be so, somewhat cool to have him look like this on you know on vindication before you know he was gone but anyways let's move on to the next figure guys we have a custom elite china here is the custom elite china right here and this is actually a, com a commission for my boy unstable 1047 on YouTube you guys can search up his channel very awesome youtuber very awesome guy just very genuinely nice dude and uh, we made a deal to make him a custom elite china and this is what the uh, results were. Very easy to make actually. We took a Jax China head scan. We popped it onto an Eva Marie Elite body. We popped on some Funkadactyl Battle Pack boots. I painted those black. I, pay, uh, I popped on some Caitlyn arms and painted the wrist tape and the gloves black. And then I put on an Alicia Fox top. And then I acetoned off the design on her chest because there was a design and it looks better with just the choker on there. And I'll mention uh, Christian guy, the, the chest is a little bit beat up. It has like some scratches and some melty looking plastic on it. You can't really see from here or in images, but the chest does have some some uh, paint flaws on it from that uh, from that acetone that kind of ate away at the plastic. It's not a huge deal, but you know, on display you won't notice it or anything. But until we get that Mattel China that is coming soon that we saw at San Diego Comic Con, this one will definitely be a great placeholder. And she sucks to stand up. That is why I am including the stand. I don't know what it is about these Funkadactyl fucking boots. They're just freaking awful, man. So uh, I'm gonna include the ringside stand so you guys can see she stands up way nicer it looks pretty good and so we have the custom elite china we have the custom finn balor that i really really do love i freaking love this balor man freaking beautiful another custom balor to add to the collection another custom balor that we had that we made yesterday guys if you missed yesterday's video i showed you guys how to make bald wwe action figures if you guys want to make any of your figures bald um go check out that video man we uh we took a top talents finn balor head sculpt and made it into a bald finn balor and now he's egghead Finn Balor. Now he's a meme of the channel, and he will be appearing in different videos, and uh, he's going to compete in tomorrow's 
55 man monthly MDT Battle Royal for the MDT Battle Royal Championship. Bald Finn Balor is going to compete. Maybe he can dethrone Little E and uh, capture that Battle Royal Championship. We'll have to see. Maybe we can stick uh, selling cigarettes behind the gymnasium Dean Ambrose in that same Battle Royal. Have all the memes of the channel in there. See which one comes out on top. But uh, that is Egghead Finn Balor. Again, if you guys want to check out how to make a fi uh, how to make any WWE action figure bald, go check out yesterday's video. But we have that. We also, I don't know if I've showed you guys this. I know we made the fix up, but I don't think I showed you guys the update on this Zack Ryder. What I did was, uh, you guys know that he had the pink headband on there, and he got chewed out by Jack Swagger on MDT Live for wearing that pink headband. So uh, he, he went to the uh, the store, and he bought himself a white headband, and it looks much better now. Um, it matches with the attire. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to add some red stripes, possibly add some blue to it as well so that he has, you know, some America going on um, just like this on the headband. And I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it, but I think that that would make the figure look ten times better having, uh, you know, that American flag pattern or at least some stripes or something. we got to put something on there because this just doesn't look good, you know. Uh, or it, it actually does look good, but I, I want something like the ZR maybe or something. Something needs to go on there. Um, if you guys have any ideas, please let me know down in the comment section below. And I would love to add some uh, red, white, and blue or some red and blue to the headband to give it that over-the-top look. But Zack Ryder right there looking good with the headband, and I wanted to definitely plug it in here. So that is four of the customs right there. I actually have another custom that I'm working on, but I can't show you guys it because I actually have like four customs that I'm working on, but they can't be shown because they just can't be shown. They're, they're sort of, uh, they're top secret at the moment. But let's go ahead and look at this figure right here, guys. I got this figure. It is the best pay-per-view CM Punk Toys R Us exclusive. I can't remember the Build-A-Figure. I think it's Build-A-Figure Paul Heyman. Could be wrong about that, but I've never owned this figure before. And my boy Derek Henry, big subscriber of the channel. What a beast. He's a loyal subscriber. He's a big fan. One of the biggest fans of the channel. And so he sent us this. He contacted me and wanted to send us some fan mail. And since uh, we really haven't done My Damn Halls in a long time, if you guys miss My Damn Halls, please let me know because it just didn't seem like anybody cared about it or something. And it just really uh, disappointed me. And I didn't really, I don't know, I just didn't want to make it anymore. So if you guys really want to see that series back, please let me know. But we did get this beautiful CM Punk Elite from my boy Derek. And I appreciate it so much, man. I've never owned this figure before. And I actually have a really cool fix up I want to do on action figure surgery with this guy. So we're going to switch out these big knee pads. I don't know which knee pads I want to do. Do I want to do dark gray or do I want to do black? Or do we want to find some purple ones possibly? I don't know where the hell we'd get those, but that is something that I definitely want to do. And so we'll probably put some gray on here for now. And it looks good. I really do like it. And I may do a fix up on it. Maybe he'll wear this in the pick fed. I'm not sure. We haven't seen CM Punk since he lost to Roman Reigns and John Cena at the Royal Rumble. So maybe he'll be on the next episode of uh, MDT Live. You know, we'll have to see. But uh, that is pretty much it. We had the CM Punk figure from my boy Derek. We had the beautiful Zack Ryder, you know, uh, headband fix up where we painted that up. I want to do some more surgery, man. But um, we also had the, uh, we had the, we had the, the bald headed uh, egghead Finn Balor, which looks good. Really enjoyed that. You know, we, we showed off how you can do that. Again, definitely go check out the video, man. Pretty good stuff. I think a lot of people enjoyed that. We have the beautiful China Custom, which I think I, this is one of the only China Customs I've seen. I've seen a few online, but they didn't really look like this. They kind of looked odd, and they were using, like, the Jacks parts, and, and I don't know. They just didn't look as good as this one. I'm not trying to toot my, own, I'm a toot my own horn or anything, but I do like the way this China turned out. If anything, the head may be a bit big, but I like it, man. It looks looks pretty good for China, especially on display with the, the rest of your DX figures. And then we have the just beautiful Finn Balor figure that I am just obsessed with. I freaking love the training shorts, man. And it looks just like that, that that, that freaking photo um, with the sledgehammer and the tire and him working out in the parking lot. And as soon as we got that Bobby Lashley, that's as soon as what, like, that's the exact thing I thought of. You guys saw in the review of the Bobby Lashley, I actually said, you know, I'm going to make a sweet picture image um, with these accessories. And I was referring to the tire and the sledgehammer, and it worked out freaking beautifully. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. But that is it. We have five figures here to show off. I don't think I have anything right here. I have this, this Mizdow just chilling right here still. I have uh, some crutches. I have the John Cena just still chilling here from the setup where he threw his MDT Championship team shirt away i mean who knows what the hell's going on but um i think that about does it for today's video guys i i, I really you know i don't know what the hell else 
um, to show you guys today. But tomorrow is going to be the monthly MDT 55-man battle royal. Little E going to go defend his championship again. A lot of people hate Little E. I know a lot. He's like the biggest heel in MDT right now. Bigger than Roman Reigns. Bigger than Kenny Omega. He's definitely the most hated figure on the channel. And I'm excited to see how he performs in that MDT battle royal championship battle royal. Can he retain it? Um, I sure hope not because the freaking people just dislike the hell out of the battle royal. So the battle royal is most definitely coming tomorrow. And I'm super excited to see Little E jump in there and defend it. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think of the figures. Huge shout out to Derek again for the beautiful CM Punk Elite. I'm so excited to finally have that figure in my collection. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.